Vodafone believes Open RAN will play a significant role in its mobile networks in the future and has already announced deployment plans in the UK. So I'm talking today with Andrea Donner, Chief Network Officer at Vodafone UK, about the company's Open RAN plans. So Andrea, Vodafone UK has been exploring the potential of Open RAN for a few years already. Uh, where are you with tests, trials, POCs, or, or even deployments? We're currently uh, testing the technology in the labs. Uh, we have brought two sites live, operational on the network, in the production network, in the southwest and in Wales, and have been there in the network for the past year. We've uh, declared our clear ambitions to use Open RAN as a replacement uh, uh, technology in our live production network uh, between now and 2027, uh, roughly 2,600 sites. And the trials are going to be completed around about May this year, May 2021. And we have an ambition to kick off the macro rollout later on this year with a completion by 2027. Uh, and based on your experience so far, what are the key benefits of using Open RAN instead of traditional integrated RAN systems? Because Open RAN is, for its very nature, open and software defined, it enables us to accelerate automation and vert uh, virtualization a lot faster than we would have with a traditional vendor because it opens up the barriers, the interfaces, to do much more software-defined deployment, faster time to market in terms of network developments, and a much better maintenance of their existing infrastructure. Because it's software-based, you can intervene on it without having to visit site and you can do most of your operations remotely. So th there's definitely clear benefits and we, we've heard uh, operators and obviously suppliers uh, talking about this for a while now, but uh, it, it can't all be positives. What, what, what are the drawbacks? What, what still needs to be figured out? Are, are there perhaps performance challenges still to overcome? Yeah, so there's quite a lot of work to be done in terms of the maturity of the technology. The integration of the various players in the disaggregated open RAN chain is key. The interoperability between them is key. Also, the maturity of the technology in terms of its performance in complex environments, like dense urban areas, is also a key focus area for R&D. We wouldn't want to take a step back when it comes to customer experience. Hence our focus of open RAN in rural areas, where we will stress test the technology. We will stress test the interoperability, the true openness of the various interfaces, and the coming together of different players that are automated and orchestrated in a seamless way so that the chain works as a whole. Okay, so you, you've got these plans for the uh, rural deployments uh, coming up over the, the next few years. Um, what about uh, other near-term plans and even the long-term plans for broader deployments? How will Open RAN fit into the bigger picture over time for Vodafone UK? So today our ambition is to replace uh, existing vendors on the macro area, starting from the rural uh, deployments. We've used the opportunity of the new uh, telecom security requirements as, as an opportunity to diversify our vendor landscape. Um, and that's a replacement strategy, very clear replacement strategy. There's also an overlay strategy whereby we can use OpenRAN to augment our uh, small cell portfolio where we can surgically ins insert 
open RAN technology in key capacity constraint areas so that we can take a two prong approach, testing the maturity, working our way from rural into urban and complex urban conurbation scenarios, but also at the same time testing the viability of open RAN, the maturity of open RAN in dense urban areas from a capacity relief perspective. So what does the introduction of Open RAN mean for Vodafone UK's broader network, especially in terms of the use of uh, edge computing and distributed cloud platforms? Well, because it is software based by design, the broader implications mean that as we move to network as a platform, standardizing the infrastructure and creating a programmable network that is configurable through standard uh, uh, APIs, it allows us to accelerate the automation and verticalization and virtualization uh, agenda, meaning that we can now deploy functions and services in a much more cloud native manner than we would have otherwise in a uh, traditional vendor scenario. Okay, so um, we talked earlier uh, about how the uh, deployment of Open RAN is going to help to broaden the ecosystem and introduce new vendors. Uh, what does the Open RAN community need to focus on in terms of its R&D, in, in terms of its development focus, to help operators like Vodafone? Where's the most development work needed right now? The development is definitely needed in ensuring that as we introduce this new technology, we're not taking a step back in customer experience. So really ensuring that the functionalities and the, uh, uh, the quality of the new technologies are not part to, 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 to the traditional vendors. The second bit is its scalability. Can we really scale this new ecosystem to be uh, uh, volumetrically a viable replacement for large scale uh, deployments. The automation and the um, orchestration of the various resources along the disaggregated uh, uh, open RAN chain is also a, a key area of, of focus. Um, uh, we really need to ensure that open RAN can operate at a very high level in complex urban conurbations and, and, and uh, dense urban uh, propagation scenarios. Okay, so uh, quite a lot of work uh, still to be done, but uh, still early days for the uh, Open RAN community and their developments. Um, now, Vodafone is one of the signatories of the European Open RAN MOU. Uh, what role can the UK play in the, in the region's open RAN ecosystem? The UK can play a very important role. The MOU that was signed is a, a great news for the uh, open RAN uh, ecosystem and community. It, it is an acknowledgement and a clear sign that this technology is being, is being supported, is in, being backed. Uh, the financial um, uh, community will see this as a technology that is uh, uh, up and coming and here to stay. So it's very good news in terms of clear signals and attracting uh, the right focus in this area, the right companies in this area. The UK already is leading in certain uh, key areas of the open RAN um, chain. Look at the uh, role that the UK plays, uh, take the competence the UK plays in the um, in the chipset manufacturing and design uh, chipset design area of, of Operan. We need to ensure that we work with government, we leverage government incentives, and we create a policy framework that allows new entrants, new specialistic companies, to come and play their role within that uh, chain allowing and fueling uh, the diversification agenda that we all uh, desire to bring uh, uh, to, to, to the fore in, in the UK. Okay, well, I'm sure there's going to be uh, a lot of uh, support uh, for any UK initiatives uh, to, to help support what Vodafone and others are doing. So, uh, Andrea, 
Uh, great to hear about Vodafone's plans and, and aspirations and how it's developing its mobile network. And hopefully we can catch up later in the year and find out how these plans are developing. Thanks very much for joining us today. Thank you very much, Ray.